Welcome back parents, teachers and students and today we'll be looking at mathematics application grade 3 so get ready. This is Raphael Thompson and this is 242 math. Here we go with math application test 2 grade 3 students. Here we go question 1. Ray played a game of marbles and won three marbles. He now has ten marbles in all. How many marbles did he have before he won the three marbles? The timer is off and running. Work fast. See if you can get an answer to this question. Now we are on question two. Here we go. Kim bought 26 red balloons, 18 blue balloons, and 12 white balloons. A. How many balloons did Kim buy? B. Round the answer from A to the nearest 10. Get cracking. Here we go. And now we move on to question three. Mike saved $399 and Fran saved $501. A. How much money did they save all together? B. How much more money did Fran save than Mike? The timer is off and running. Work fast. Let's see if you can get these two questions done. And we are off and running to question number four. The graph shows the number of students who were absent during one week in a school year. How many more students were absent on Tuesday than Wednesday? And we move on to question five. There are 25 students in grade 3T at the Columbus Primary School. In this class, there are 18 girls. A, how many boys are in this class? And B, write your answer from A as a Roman numeral. Get cracking grade three students. Let's see if you can get these two correct. And we are moving on to question number six. Sam spent three months last year on vacation in Florida. Over a 12 month period, how many months did Sam spend in Florida? Write your answer as a fraction. 
that's important. Let's go grade three. Remember, write your answer as a fraction. Should be finishing off question six and we now move on to question seven use the following shape to answer this question how many edges does this shape have count the edges let's go grade three Should be finishing up that question by now and we move on now to question eight after school charles has basketball practice for 80 minutes how many hours and minutes does he practice Should be finishing up question eight. Yes, and now we move on to question nine. The following shape is made up of squares. Use the picture to answer these questions. A, find the perimeter of this shape. Just put the number and that would be in units. And B, find the area of the shape and that would be in square units. Just put the number there. So do the perimeter, then calculate the area. Let's go grade three. You can do this. You have one more question to go. Got it? And the final question, question 10, guys. Susan has 12 backpacks and must place the same number of backpacks on each of three shelves. How many backpacks will she place on each shelf? Last question, get cracking. See if you can get this done quickly. Should be finishing question 10 and we get to the best part of this. We will be reviewing the answers. So here we go. Get ready to mark. Let's see if you can get all of these correct. Remember, this is math application. So these are pretty hard questions for grade 3. Question 1. One play the game of marbles and one three marbles. So you see the three marbles coming in. He now has ten marbles in all. How many marbles did he have before he won the three marbles? So you put up the three marbles and then you put marbles to continue up to ten. The green marbles would go up to ten. Then the green marbles will show you the answer that you need. So how many green marbles did you add to the three blue you added seven so the answer is seven marbles that's correct question two Kim bought 26 red balloons 18 blue balloons and 12 white balloons how many balloons did Kim buy first question yeah you add 26 18 and 12 and add them up and what do you get you have to regroup 18 to 10 16 and then you 
Place the one above the tens. Two, one, three, four, five. Fifty-six balloons for A when you add them up. Now, round the answer from A to the nearest ten. What is fifty-six rounded to the nearest ten? Is it fifty or is it sixty? Yes, it is sixty. It is closer to sixty. Very good. And we move on to question three. Mike saved three hundred ninety-nine dollars, and Fran saved five hundred one dollars. How much money did they save altogether? The answer for that is nine hundred dollars. How do you get that answer? You add three ninety-nine plus five o one, and you get nine hundred. Now, how much more money did Fran save than Mike? For that one, you have to subtract. So it's 501 on top and then 399 on the bottom, $102. That's it. Got it? Excellent work. Question four. The graph shows the number of students who were absent during one week in the school year. How many more students were absent on Tuesday than Wednesday? Put the number on top of it for Tuesday. It will be five. For Wednesday, it will be two. How many more were absent? Five take away two. That gives you what? three students so you just had to do a simple subtraction once you put the numbers in so once you're given a bar graph like this just go ahead put the numbers in and then use them as you need them but that one you have to look at Wednesday Tuesday and Wednesday got it way to go question five there are 25 students in grade 3 at the Columbus Primary School. In this class, there are 18 girls. How many boys are in this class? What do you have to do to find the number of boys? Yeah, you subtract. 25 take away 18. So there's 25 students and 18 girls. So 25 take away 18, you get 7 boys. Now, part B. Write your answer for me as a Roman numeral. How do you write seven? V I I. That's seven, guys. Mark it. Let's move on to question six. Sam spent three months last year on vacation in Florida. Over a 12 month period, how many months did Sam spend in Florida? Write your answer as a fraction. So it's three months and then it's out of 12 months. So you, it's three twelfths. You don't have to reduce it. If you reduce it, you get one quarter. But once you write three twelfths, you're straight. You're okay. That's correct. That's all you need. Your answer as a fraction. Got it? Splendid. If you were able to reduce it, good for you. Let's move on to question seven. Use the following shape to answer this question. So let's count the edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, twelve edges. That's it, guys. A whole lot of edges. Twelve edges. Very good work. Question eight. After school, Charles has basketball practice for 80 minutes. How many hours a minute does he practice? So if one hour is 60 minutes, you can subtract. 80 take away 60, that leaves 20. So it's one hour, and when you subtract it, you were left with 20. So it's one hour, 20 minutes. 80 minutes is one hour, 20 minutes. Way to go, grade three, if you got that one correct. We're nearly done. Two more questions to go. And question nine. The following shape is made, is made up of squares. Use the picture to answer these questions. Find the perimeter of the shape. What does perimeter mean? Do you know? Yes, it means the distance all around. So if you count it all around, you'd get 14 units once you count all around. Now, find the area of the shape. So you want the area on the inside how many squares? Count them. 12 
square. So it's 12 square units. That would be the answer for the area. Very good if you got that correct. And the final question, question then. Susan Hughes has 12 bar packs and must place the same number of bar packs on each of three shelves. How many bar packs do you place on each shelf? So you're dividing. Or you can draw it up and then match it up. Make sure you put one on each shelf at a time. So it's 12 divided by 3, and that answer is 4, because 3 times 4 is 12. So the answer would be 4 backpacks that Susan would place on each shelf. Hope you got that one correct. Remember, division is only sharing, so you could have shared it up and still worked it out, and you'd have gotten 4 once you have drawn, would have drawn the 3 shelves. Thank you all for watching. I hope you learned something. If you had any problems, just go back and work it out. Remember, I'm trying to help you to get an A on math application grade three. So let's get that done this year. Please share me out. I'll see you in the next one. That's a wrap.